Welcome to Seattle in the University of Washington, where today we find ourselves exploring the historic Husky Stadium. So back last August, I was in Seattle and we were staying on the north side of town. We traveled to the campus to get on the link, which is the train that's going to take us down into town. And before we got on the train, we decided we had to go to the bathroom. And the only place around to go to the bathroom was the University of Washington football stadium, because they're currently holding an open summer practice session. So I was like, hey, this is a great chance to explore another stadium. I was actually really glad we got to explore the stadium because the stadium is an absolute masterclass in stadium renovation with keeping historic elements and bringing them into the modern era. The stadium originally opened up back in 1920 with a seating capacity of 30,000 spectators with a classic U shape horseshoed around a track with the opened end of that U looking out onto Lake Washington and the Cascade Mountain Range, including Mount Rainier. In 1950, the stadium underwent its first major renovation, which added 15,000 seats to the south side with a new grandstand, complete with an iconic steel roof. And in 1987, it was then replicated on the north side as well, giving both sides that steel roof double tier aesthetic. And then the most major renovation took place from 2011 to 2013. Since it was such a huge project, the football team had to play at the Seattle Seahawks Stadium, which was then CenturyLink Field during the entire 2012 season, while the $261 million renovation was completed. Like many college football stadiums that undergo renovations to remove the track, the field of play was lowered four feet to make room for additional seating closer to the sidelines as nearly the whole bowl was torn apart, except for that 1987 Northside Grandstand. The 1950 South Grandstand was rebuilt to include new amenities and features. The West End was constructed as the new student section, which is a lot closer to the playing surface than it was with the old rounded track horseshoe design. And the East End that used to be temporary bleachers was now replaced with a permanent structure with field level suites for a more premium experience. However, this new structure, as well as a large scoreboard on top, does now block some of the view to the water right beside it in the mountains beyond. However, the stadium is still nicknamed the greatest setting in college football due to the beautiful natural surrounding right outside the stadium. With a capacity of just over 70,000, the stadium's notorious for being one of the loudest in all of college football. And the metal roof design, which is intended obviously to keep off the rain since Seattle's notorious for having lots of rain, definitely helps keeps all the sound in the stadium and close to the field. And I for one am a huge fan of roofs over stadiums to keep the elements off of the spectators. Today, the stadium is officially known as Alaska Airlines Field at Husky Stadium. And the renovation gave the stadium a beautiful exterior with a mix of classic bricks and modern black steel. From the outside, both the two main grandstands really just tower over the stadium as a whole. The concourse is incredibly sleek and modern, with great elements representing the city of Seattle. And I just can't get over how beautifully this walkway is done to enter the seating bowl. And the seating bowl itself gives you some great views down to the playing surface, as the upper levels are incredibly steep. The inside of the seating bowl definitely has more of an old school nostalgic vibe to it. Meanwhile, the concourse definitely has that sleek modern design to it. So it's really interesting with the combination of the two to make this a great historic stadium that also has a lot of modern amenities. Thank you so much for watching this exploration. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.